warning about a popular product that they say can be harmful to children. They're called water beads. And today, at least one parent sued the maker and distributor of one of those products. Action News investigative reporter Chad Bedelli shows us how water beads work, and he sits down with families who have a warning for consumers tonight. These are what are called water beads. There are 50,000 of them in this container. To give you an idea how small they are, look at this one compared to a dime. A new lawsuit says they were originally made for water absorption and plants. And the purpose of them, though, as a toy now, is to get them wet so they expand. But the lawsuit says children are ingesting them, blocking organs and airways. This was one-year-old Kennedy Mitchell last month. Tubes in and out of her little body. A bag protects her intestines, a portion of which had to be removed. She accidentally ingested a water bead, blocking her intestine. She was limp and she was blank. Mother Felicia Mitchell bought the water beads in August for her eight-year-old son. How her one-year-old got a hold of one is unclear. She literally, she swallowed one, just one bead. Mitchell says initially doctors were befuddled. Kennedy began throwing up bile. She was rushed to a trauma center where doctors finally figured the source of the problem. Never, ever came into my mind until that moment, and it felt like I was being punched right in the face. This product is essentially a ticking time bomb. Attorney Tom Bosworth and the Mitchell family have sued Buffalo Games, its parent company and retailer Target for what they call insufficient warnings on the Chuckle and Roar water bead product. Currently, water bead labeling only says they're a choking hazard and not for children under three. But what Bosworth says is missing is they can expand inside the body. There is no warning about um, a blockage of the intestine. There is no warning of death. There is no warning of infection. Bosworth says similar products were recalled nearly a decade ago. Another mother, Ashley Haugen, says her infant daughter almost died in 2017 after ingesting a similar product. She's founded the website That Water Bead Lady, which warns of the potential dangers. The doctor was like, you know, these kids, these could kill a kid. Haugen says she met with the Consumer Product Safety Commission last week. My hope is that they take them off the market. I'm learning about kids every single day who have been affected. Target has since pulled its Chuckle and Roar water bead product off its shelves, but we found you can still purchase similar products online. <laughs> Little Kennedy is now back at home. I love you. She's expected to recover, but the family's fight still goes on. So I hope parents won't buy them because they are dangerous and they're not marked for how dangerous they are. Buffalo Games, which markets the water beads purchased by the Mitchell family, tell ABC News its product meets current standards for toy safety and has all required warnings and information on packages. The company is evaluating the situation to see if any further action is warranted. I'm Action News investigative reporter Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News.